Why aren't more people talking about the science that keeps Voyager alive? I mean, it's been out there since disco was cool. Here's how Voyager's still phoning home after 48 years. First, meet the unsung hero, the RTG, or radioisotope thermoelectric generator. Unlike your phone or a Tesla, Voyager doesn't need charging or sunshine, its power comes from a hunk of plutonium-238. As this special isotope naturally decays, it gives off heat. Then, Voyager's RTG turns that heat into electricity. At launch, it made about 470 watts, enough to run a microwave. Now it's down to less than a quarter of that, so NASA's had to get clever. Over the decades, they've shut down non-essential stuff, cameras, heaters, even some science instruments. Imagine squeezing every last drop of battery life, except your phone is 24 billion kilometers away. And here's the bittersweet part. By 2025 or 2026, there won't be enough power left for even a whisper home. But until that final signal, Voyager keeps teaching us, sending data from further than any human-made object ever. Still working, still exploring. That's science, decades in the making. Follow